Alright guys, today we are uh, talking about how to actually structure a website for business to business growth in 2019. And so this is important because most people still use their website as some kind of destination, as not as a tool. What I will go through in this tutorial is how to actually turn your website from being a destination into being a tool that you can use in order to drive growth. Okay? Then you use your social media platforms, then you use your email marketing, then you use your ad buying, then you use whatever you but you need these three components in order to actually drive growth and drive leads to your business. So with no further ado, here are the three most important components that I believe that you need to have on your website in order to grow in 2019. Brand pages, lead pages, and traffic pages. If you structure it that way in your head, then there will be no problem. Okay, so just to paint this picture for you, you have your start page. Now, any page that is linked in the top navigation, that is a brand page. It's there to build your brand and build, you know, the confidence for a user in your uh, service or product. For example, we have the start page and then we have expertise pages. And those exp expertise pages are such pages such as services. And they are education and they are books or moreover publications. Those types of, of pages are your brand pages. All of them are designed to increase the value or confidence in your brand. But then there is the last brand page and we will call this page the about us page. So you don't really need more brand pages than this. You have some kind of services, you have education, you have publications, and then you have about us. If you don't have all of them, it's no problem, but you need some expertise pages to show people what you actually know and do. And then you need something that shows your values and those kind of things like who is working at your company and what are you about. Uh, together, these are the brand pages of your website. Yeah, and one thing I need to say about these are that they should be linked in your top navigation of your website. The second type of, of page that you got to create are lead pages. And lead pages are really all about collecting leads. And so here you have the here you have the sort of sales video, you have the surveys, you have the the upsell pages, you have the webinars all of those types of pages that actually help you convert the user. Now, these might be there to target a specific difficult keyword that you're using, or it might be there to, to sort of uh, collect a series of, of uh, other sub pages that you have on your website. These are the kind of pages that you buy your PPC to. So here you have the overall topics that you are trying to convert for. They're there as static pages. You don't change these that often, but you you change them in order to optimize them for conversion. Uh, but you don't change them in terms of like rewriting everything when once you have found something uh, that is really tasty that you rank for in Google or that you you sort of can can get traffic for cheaply through Google, uh, Google AdWords or Facebook ads or LinkedIn ads or whatever ads you're buying. So this is really when you are trying to convert someone. This is the type of sales interface that you have with the user. So a lot of video, a lot of interaction, a lot of like trying to get someone to leave a lead behind. Here you have the white papers. Here you have the, you know, the strong conversion points, right? So that's the second one. Then as the third page type that you're going to use here, there are traffic pages. And so here we got the blog posts. Here we have the, here we have the YouTube channel. Facebook channel and the, not the Instagram possibly, but you have the LinkedIn here, you have the YouTubes and you have whatever page type you have that is sort of something that you can create again and again and again and again. That's the type of, of page type that we're looking for here. And, and so this is some kind of content that people can follow, a format that people can sort of use for themselves. So for example, you might have 10 blog posts that are about uh, this webinar and they might be linked in this webinar thing, but you don't share the webinar sign up in social media, but you share the blog post in social media. You might have some content on your Facebook page that drives traffic into the webinar. So it might be looking a little bit like, like so let's do this like that. And YouTube uh, is uh, connected to the sales page and the LinkedIn is connected to your, oops, is connected to your services and it's connected to your surveys here. 
and it's connected to your start page. Now the blog post starts coming in and they are driving traffic and their sole purpose is to drive traffic and they drive to the start page. They drive to the about us page when it's about recruitment. They drive to publications when you're trying to talk about how great you are uh, or some book that you've tried to to pitch to the world you drive to the upsell page when someone is retargeted with an email let's say you draw to to the surveys you know you, i think you get this now so this is sort of the, the 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 setup that i want more and more business to business companies to use because it includes clear purposes for each page and so you can optimize them accordingly you can optimize the start page and all of the brand pages in order to build your brand and make you look serious, good, trustworthy, all of those things. Then you can optimize your sales pages or your, your uh, lead pages to do only that, to only produce leads for you. Then you can use the blog posts, you can use the external channels such as YouTube, LinkedIn, you can use them freely in order to create both search traffic, but also that network traffic where people are sharing your content with each other without having to feel that they are a situation where they are being too commercial or where they are selling or pushing something, right? For these ones, uh, the, the sales pages or the lead pages, it's extremely important that you consider value proposition and you consider motivation of the people coming there. And I've gone through that in, in, a, in another video when I talk about the conversion formula, what that is. Uh, it's extremely important that you're offering some kind of value. And I'm gonna go through on Wednesday how you can convert, convert your products into some kind of content or how you can convert your services into some kind of content that gives a user value. And then you use the blog post to launch this and you talk about more the educational side of things. You push that out into to social uh, media or you try to do some keyword research in order to make it rank in Google. So this is sort of the framework that I like to use when I'm building a growth machine for business to business. Because when I have these three page types, then the rest of it is about, you know, coming up with uh, good content and then, you know, driving it to the right place. And then I know that for great content, I can look for trends, I can look for keywords, I can look for, you know, whatever is, is happening right now in my industry. I can look at changes in my products and such things. All of that is a base for good content. In terms of optimizing the lead pages, I can work with my Google Analytics, with my Google Optimize, with, with uh, pay-per-click, with all of those kinds of tools in order to drive traffic and optimize these pages so that more people convert into leads. I will refer you to other people who are more into building brands. However, I know the purpose of these pages and they are about giving a, you know, an overview. That's where people just click through and just read the headlines just to make sure that when they are gonna become a lead, they are becoming a lead to something that is serious. All right, so I'm gonna spend the next few weeks working with my own website that is here, turning it into, because I, have treat, I haven't treated this website very well. I'm gonna treat this as though it is a business to business that is gonna attract leads. And I'm gonna turn that into this kind of system. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I actually grow this page online. So if you wanna follow that, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can uh, just follow me here on, on LinkedIn or Facebook. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do for the next uh, few weeks. Cool. So if you like this video, then hit the like button that helps a lot with the visibility or don't hit the downwards button if you don't like it. Uh, if you think that I am uh, doing something wrong, write in the comments. If you do think that I'm doing something right, then share this with a friend, you know, do whatever you want to do. I think this is fun. I will continue doing this uh, and you have a good day. Peace.